When I did my student course, uh, I was 17 years old and uh, no idea really what I wanted to do with my life. And I went and I did this course because a friend of mine had done one and it sounded really cool. And um, my grandmother had given me a uh, $1,000 uh, as a reward only if I graduated from high school, which was going to be very much in doubt at that point. But I did it. And so I got the $1,000 and I said, what am I going to do with this? And at that time, a Wind River Wilderness course was $880. So I plopped that down. I didn't have enough money for a uh, plane ticket. So I hitchhiked from New Orleans to uh, Lander, Wyoming, and uh, showed up at the lumber yard at that point. And the first person I met was Paul Petzold. And I'll never forget um, shaking his hand because his hand was literally about two times the size of mine. <laughs> and he just crushed it and said, well, welcome to Knowles. And my course was extremely difficult for me. Um, I, I had never been through anything like that before. Um, but when I finished it, I had a very similar outcome to um, uh, almost all the students that go through Knowles courses. And that, uh, it changed my life. My confidence was uh, higher than it had ever been. And um, I ended up being in leadership positions the rest of my life. And when I, I never ended up going to college, but I, I ended up with a very successful business career in natural and organic foods. And when I was really reflecting back on my life, it was Knowles, it was a, a, a turning point. Well, fast forward many, many years, um, I have got a 15 year old, uh, youngest daughter who is just completely uh, rebelling uh, just in, in every way possible. And it was a great concern um, to her mom and myself. And I was really reflecting back on what, what turned my life around. And I remembered Knowles and lo and behold, there's a website. Oh my God, they're not only uh, still exists, they're operating all over the world. Well, let me get a catalog. I just left the catalog on the kitchen table and it sat there for a couple days and then I noticed it was gone. And um, two days later, she comes bounding up the steps and said, hey dad, that catalog is really cool. And I'll never forget, I was at the refrigerator and it's like, what catalog? And she said, well, that catalog from the National Outdoor Leadership School, it's really cool. And I said, oh, really? And she said, there's a course in there I want to do. And I said, well, what course is that? And of course, I'm wanting to hear, you know, five weeks in, in Wind Rivers or something. She says, I want to do this semester in Africa. <laughs> well, she's 15. And I said, like, well, let me see that catalog. <laughs> And I looked and it, it was like minimum age 17. And I said, Molly, you can't do that course. You've got to be 17. And she said, I know, but I want to do it when I'm 17. And I think my finest moment as a parent with that child was, um, I made a deal with her right then, which was, I said, look, if you keep your agreements with your mother and I, and you finish high school, I promise you that you can do that course. And she said, deal. So she all of a sudden had a motivation to start going to school again. And in fact, worked her uh, rear end off and skipped her junior year so she could finish high school a year early. And her 17th birthday was um, her first day on Mount Kenya. And she wrote, um, her mom and I a letter that is in my safety deposit box that um, was just um, you know everything you could possibly hope for in such a letter. She came home a completely different person. It's made a real profound difference um, not only in my life but in my family's life and that's my story. <laughs>